call the roll. Sure. Councillor Dwight. Here. Councillor Carney. Present. Councillor Klein. Here. And Councillor Murphy. Councillor Murphy is absent with excuse. So we have a quorum and we will convene. Um, the um, first order of business, of course, is to uh, approve minutes of the previous meeting from February 12th. Uh, is there a motion? Second. Well, flip a coin. Okay. All right. So we got a first and second. You can split it wherever you want. <laughs> uh, all those in favor of accepting the minutes, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Actually, I have the second set there too for February 27th. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. February yeah, 12th. yeah, yeah. No, no, okay. The, it's the 12th and the 27th. So, uh, accept a motion, accept the, the minutes also from the 27th. So, okay. second. Okay. All those in favor of approving those minutes, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Um, so, we have. Uh, just one item on here, that's uh, 18043. Um, this is an ordinance related to bicycling on sidewalks, defining multi-use trails and regulating bike lanes. Uh, it was referred to us um, the, from the March 1st meeting. Um, you'll have two, if you're online, you'll have two versions of it. One is the amended version after consultation with the city solicitor, which you with the one we probably should use, and if we do, we should move it as amended. Um, there's, let's see. Um, would you like me to read it, or would you? We also have Wayne Feiden here who can explain the intent behind this. Why don't Why don't we do that? Okay, Wayne. Thanks. Um, so this is already moved through transportation and parking with a positive recommendation from them. So I'm going to do this off of Alan's version. So yeah. um, three basic changes. Years ago, there was discussion, I think Bill is your original tenure about yeah. where you could bicycle on, on and off sidewalks. And I wasn't part of those discussions. Basically, you're not allowed to bicycle on sidewalks in Central Business District in Florence, and you are elsewhere. There's a whole long list of streets which listed that. So this is sort of doing two things. First is just simplifying and saying, we're gonna use the Central Business District and the General Business District. So we're going by zoning districts that are mapped rather than the list of the streets. Um, and then more significantly, the issue came up is there are places where the bike path network is actually coincides with the sidewalk. So this came up right down here, the other side of Peter Pan bus terminal. There's a section where the bike path through downtown coincides with the sidewalk. And of course, people are supposed to bicycle there, but then we don't allow, side, we don't allow bicycle on sidewalks. And then on Pleasant Street, as part of the recent work, we put cycle tracks in. And cycle tracks are sort of like a sidewalk where you're allowed to bicycle. They're adjacent to a normal sidewalk. And so one could look at this ordinance and say, no bicycling on the sidewalks is allowed, even though these are called cycle tracks. So this would basically say, no bicycling in Florence and downtown, except on routes that are part of a marked bike path. That's the first change. Um, the second is, you remember, City Council approved just within the last couple of months um, allowing electric assist bikes on the bike paths in town. Um, this, is, this is necessary to allow our, our Valley Bike Share program in. Um, but we didn't do a great job anywhere of defining exactly what the bike paths were. And so this comes back, and all it's basically doing is creating a definition of what we mean by, by bike paths. So not a substantive thing. Um, and then the last one, um, we've had a problem sometimes where the city creates new bike lanes. As you know, DPW has done a great job, or from my perspective, a great job of being aggressive at creating new bike lanes. But they're not officially bike lanes until it comes in before city council to adopt them one at a time. When we hired Alta Design to do the bike ped plan for Northampton, one of the things they said that's a little bit unique. Other towns don't do it on a case-by-case -case basis. And if we're bas basically physically making a bike lane, then it's a bike lane and people shouldn't be able to park it. And then along with that, we've had issues of, okay, if these are bike lanes and people can't park, what happens for special events? There's always special events, parades, you know, big events. And so this would allow the, the, the police department and the mayor to say, okay, we have a special event today, sidewalk sale days, or, you know, something different. And for that one event, it's okay for people to park or tables or whatever's there. 
Right. Okay. Uh, I'll accept a motion for this on the floor, actually. I realize I'll move this uh, with the positive recommendation. With the, uh, the amendment. With the changes. That's yes. amended. Okay. Um, questions about this? Um, actually, it went right historically. This once upon a time, bikes were not allowed on sidewalks anywhere in the city. Bikes, skateboards, rollerblades, any wheeled conveyance was not allowed. And in fact, actually, I think technically even wheelchairs, and strollers were precluded because they were just not considered in the ordinance. And uh, Julie Spencer Robinson's middle school class took exception to that and actually called a number of city councilors to come address the issue with them in their class. It was a little civics class. These are, children are all now adults um, in, in advancing years. But they uh, said that, that it was important that they be able to bike on the sidewalks, the only place they felt safe. And Mass Bike actually came out in support of it with, with the caveats about bicycle pro, uh, uh, driveway approaches. Um, also, there was a uh, hierarchical order, people who were walking, pedestrians had the right of way, uh, they had to be yielded, by any wheel conveyance. So uh, it was eventually created an ordinance that, that was allowed bicycle riding and skateboards and uh, wheel conveyances on sidewalks with the exceptions, as Wayne said, of designated streets downtown, Florence and Northampton. Uh, now it's just more generalized. There used to be, there were the skate people had T-shirts with the with the allowed areas you uh, no the uh, the disallowed areas that you couldn't ride your skateboard or your bicycle. So and now of course the city is moving towards the ethos of establishing bike lanes wherever and whenever we can, wherever it's feasible and practical, which makes for safer avenues of, of bicycling. But then, it, uh, then also the conflict that you described at the very end. Uh, I knew there were a couple of counselors who took exception to some events where people were parking, large events where people were parking in the, in the bike lanes without getting ticketed. And the mayor had said that he had basically allowed the use, and there was some conflict there about concern that the counselors. Uh, felt that the mayor was encroaching on their territory as far as the authority. Um, to be perfectly honest, I disagree. I think it was kind of an excessive territorial marking. I think it, it's far more appropriate for the police to make a determination that if there's an event at the synagogue that they'd be allowed to park along the bike lanes on uh, Prospect Street, say, or if something happens on South Street. Oh, you can't see the bike lanes now, but, you know, the, they make exceptions based on, um, based on need, as opposed to having it come before us and approve every event that would have to do that, so that's a kind of Wayne, so do we actually need something like this for the proposed multi-use trails around the King Street, I mean, the Damon Road and all? I mean, I know when I've looked at those, there are those newer multi-use trails, and is this also going to help us to make those allow, uh, allow those because we That's have to right. make something. They're, they're not yeah. Central Business District yep. in Florence, so it's less of an issue, but it's still that same clarity of we're saying it's okay for bikes to be in marked routes. Oh. Can I say one thing so you know? So this is not what I'm asking you to address, but just so you know, Mass Bike would no longer make that recommendation about allowing bikes in any sidewalks anywhere. I think they tend to feel like the most common crash is a so-called right hook, where a bicycle is going fast and someone's turning, and a sidewalk is unpredictable. That's, that's not before you now, but just so you know, there's certain bike advocates in town who argue against allowing biking in any sidewalk anytime. That's not before you. Oh, a different battle for a different yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, thank you for that note. Mm -hmm. Councilor Klein? Was this um, referred to the Transportation and Parking Commission? Was it considered by them and also the Bike Ped Subcommittee? Did they? Yes, it went to both Bike Ped just informally, Transportation and Parking formally, and they voted for it. Okay, thanks. 
the ordinance for them says if they vote for it before it goes to council, it doesn't get referred out. So it wasn't referred by council, but it was still considered by them. Oh, in fact, this was um, this originated with them. Um, can I ask what Alan's amendments were? Yeah, um, he didn't quite understand what I was trying to draft. So I originally had to drop the list of all the streets. So it made sense to say downtown district and Florence district instead of the list of streets. I got it. He looked and said, just go to zoning district. And I, and it seemed to be a more elegant solution than the list of streets that might change from time to time. Did, um, did we lose or pick up more streets for the restriction by doing that? I didn't go street by street, so I'm not sure I know the answer. Um, I suspect you gained on Pleasant Street because that used to not be considered part of right, the right, right, right. But again, I didn't go street by street, so I'm sorry I can't okay. No, no, that's, that's fine. Um, any other discussion? Well, all those in favor of advancing this with a, a, a firm of approval, well, that's the approvals tend to be. Um, with approval to the to the council, uh, please say aye. 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 Okay. That's very hot. hot. <laughs> that is the hot agenda. Is there any new business? We're waking up for it, right? Second. All right. All those in favor of adjourning, please say aye. 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 Thank you.